क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन ए कैन एक्स कंटेन थ्री नाइन नाइन लीटर्स ऑफ पेट्रोल एंड कैन वाई कंटेन फाइव थर्टी थर्टी टू लीटर्स ऑफ डीजल एंड दे आर टू बी बॉटल इन बॉटल्स ऑफ इक्वल साइज सो दैट द वॉल ऑफ द पेट्रोल एंड डीजल वुड बी सेपरेटली बॉटल द बॉटल कैपेसिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ लीटर्स इज एन इंटीजर हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट बॉटल साइज आर पॉसिबल सो इट्स क्लियरली इट्स बेस्ड ऑन हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर कॉन्सेप्ट और लाइक इन अ कॉमन फैक्टर कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज यू माइट हैव सॉल्व सिमिलर क्वेश्चन इन द सेशन एज वन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद सो लेट्स एनालाइज द क्वेश्चन वन मोर टाइम सो यू हैव अ कैन एक्स इट कंटेन थ्री नाइन नाइन लीटर्स ऑफ पेट्रोल ओके दिस इज अ पेट्रोल पी एंड देन यू हैव अनदर कैन which contain 532 liter of diesel diesel and petrol so what we going to do is we going to bottle this into bottles of equal size so i'm going to let's say i'm taking size is a a liters so each bottle should be a okay goes on like that similarly this diesel also you should bottle it into same capacity each a size size of a liters right each bottle size is a liter and i need to find out what are the possible bottle size how many values of a is possible here that is a question so if you analyze the situation so a is nothing but so 399 liters you should be able to bottle exactly in exactly in a like you know bottles of a liters right so that means 399 sorry 399 399 should be exactly divisible by a then only you will be able to perfectly bottle it in each bottles right similarly i could say 532 is also should be exactly divisible by a otherwise there will be some left over as per the question it's perfectly bottled there is no left over so 532 is also exactly divisible by a. or i could say from this i could say that a is a factor of 399 as well as 532 or we could conclude as a is a common factor of a should be a common factor of 3999 399 and 532 then only it is possible as per the situation given in the question so what we need to find here is we just need to find out what are the common factors of 399 and 532 that would be the answer here okay or what you can do is you can find out the highest common factor okay find out the highest common factor that is would be the largest capacity again this is not going to be your answer you find out the highest common factor and then you find out what are the factors of this number that will be the answer so either way around you could solve it okay so let's start with that so you have two numbers 3 9 and 532 i'm going to factorize it okay so 399 which is nothing but uh, 3 times 133 which is also equivalent to 3 times i think it's a multiple of uh, 7 yes it's a multiple of 7 it's going to be 7 times uh, 190 because how i identify it's a multiple of 7 is see 140 is a multiple of 7 so 140 minus 7 is 133 so this is a simple shortcuts you could use when you use a prime factorization okay and 19 is a prime number so this is the prime factorized form and again 532 you can start with 532 so it's actually a multiple of 4 so let's say 4 times 1 3 3 okay so again you can you can easily the same number right it's 4 times 7 times 19 yeah so one way of approaching it is you find out the highest common factor what is the highest common factor 133 is the highest common factor right so both of them are having 7 and 19 are the common factors so 133 is the highest common factor so remember try to understand what does it mean this is the 
highest capacity of the bottles that you are making highest capacity and even the smallest capacity is also possible so that means any factor of 133 will satisfy your need so 130 is the highest common factor so any factor of 133 will uh, suit your needs so what are the factors of 133 one here you can count one that's possible each bottle has one liter so here three double nine bottles are possible here 532 bottles are possible so one is a possibility one liter size then another what are the common factors seven 19 as well as 133 so these are the factors there are four factors 1 7 19 and 133 so this much different sizes are possible so total four different sizes are possible so your answer is option b is the right answer option b is the right answer so the easy approach is going to be you find out hcf and then you find out what are the factors of that number and here in this case you could count one in one of the questions we discussed before you cannot count one because of the conditions but here you could count one because it's possible to bottle them with a capacity of one liter so option b is the right answer